Okay, so uh, this exercise, or exercise number three, talks about modifying the deck geometry. Um, again, uh, in this uh, exercise, we're going to introduce you to several uh, new uh, geometry generation tools inside StatPro, uh, which will allow you to create uh, nice and in, in, uh, you know fancy models uh, inside inside this graphics. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, delete uh, a few members. Okay, so in your manuals on page 40, and uh, what we've done is selected three members. Okay, so it's these are they're basically these members. And if you want to delete them, you just hit the delete key on your keyboard, and those members will be deleted. The next thing that we're going to do is draw a member. We've already looked at geometry add beam from point to point command in the last exercise. So we're going to look at it again. So if you go to geometry add beam from point to point, okay, you click on the first node point, click on the second node point, okay. Now, there's a problem with what we've done. Uh, the thing is, like, if you look at that beam member, it extends from, from one node to another, but there's no sort of no connection of that member with the, uh, you know, the members that it's actually, uh, you know, passing through, okay? So, um, because of that, you know, there's not going to be any load transfer from one member to another. Now, if you wanted to force StatPro to create those intersection points, uh, we have a really nice command called geometry intersect selected members uh, and what you need to do is basically select all the members in the model first. Okay, so what we'll just do is basically press Control A on your keyboard, or you can just draw a window like this, okay, and select all the members. The next thing that we'll do is click on Geometry menu, Intersect Selected Members, and click on Intersect, okay. And this command will ask you for a, for a tolerance. So for each member, it's going to do a, a search, okay? And you need to define what that search radius is in this dialog box. I'm just going to set it to zero, okay? Which means that, okay, just find out members that are actually falling on top of each other, okay? And if you click on OK, it'll, it'll create an intersection if those node points are falling on, if the members are actually falling on top of each other, okay? So now you see that big member that we drew is divided into smaller pieces, okay? Now, uh, what we'll do is on page 41, they tell us to select two of those members, okay? And the member on the other side of the truss, uh, sorry, of the bridge, Okay, sorry, I picked uh, a lot of members. I'm just going to unselect some of those using the control key on your keyboard and uh, and your mouse, just click on each of those members. Once you've done that, hit the delete key on your keyboard. Step number seven, page 41. Click on the OK button and those members are gone, right? Now, we're going to be doing a lot of fine tuning here. Um, and um, the first thing that we're going to do is insert a midpoint. Now, this is a new command. You, have, you haven't seen this command. On page uh, 42, we talk about it. So what we want to do is basically select one member. OK, and now we want to divide it into two pieces right at the midpoint. OK, so if you right click, click on insert node. You know, there's a command called midpoint. And if you click on OK, now you see that member has been divided into two parts, equal parts. Now, select the first part. And what we'll do is we will divide that one also into smaller pieces, okay? If you right click on it, click on insert node, the first node point from the start node is going to be at two feet, 
click on add new point and there's going to be a second note point okay so so I made a mistake okay so let's remove that we'll click on the two feet click on remove okay now again I'm going to do it first note point is going to be 0.5 then there's going to be a second one at two click on add new point so in your insert node into beam 14 dialog box you should have two entries 0.5 and 2 now if you click on OK it'll show you those those node points okay now what we'll do is we will select the next beam okay and this beam member will divide it into further sections we'll right click on it click on insert node and the first section that we want is at uh, I mean in your manuals on page number 44 okay it shows you that the first distance that we want is at 0.33 click on add new node point then we want one at 0.98 click on add new node point then we'll say 1.64 and then the last node point will be at 2.3 and click on add new point new node point so what we've done is basically created five divisions okay click on OK and you'll be able to see those divisions in the in the stat graphics now now uh, what we'll do is we'll add new members. Okay, on page number 45, it shows you how those members need to be drawn. And for that, what we'll do is we'll zoom in. Okay, roll the roller mouse away from you. And, you know, basically press the roller mouse button to pan. Now, uh, let us select this uh, beam number 153 in the model. And what we'll do is we'll split that member into smaller pieces, okay? So select that member, right click, and click on Insert Node. Now on page number 45 of your manual, we give you a figure in which we show you uh, the division points. And uh, what we want to do is we want to put in a division point at 1.05 feet. Click on Add New Point. Then we'll, we'll put in one point at 1.7 click on add new point then we'll put in one at three two point three seven add new point and the last one at three point oh two and click on add new point okay so what we've done is we've added some uh, divisions we'll click on OK now uh, once we've drawn those node points we can easily connect those node points with intermediate members using geometry menu add beam add beam from point to point command okay so what we have to do is basically draw uh, you know these these members as as I'm doing okay now uh, we also need like a straight member there okay so we'll, we'll draw that member there now uh, once that geometry has been created we will then concentrate on the second uh, bay on the right hand side uh, again we'll pick the member at the top okay in this case it's member number 15 and we need to split that member into smaller pieces as well uh, those division points are shown on page 46 of your manual so we'll just right click insert node and on page number 46, uh, page number 46, uh, you know, figure 14 shows you those uh, node divisions. So for the first distance, just put in 0 0.61, click on add new point. Second one, we'll put in 1.84, add new node point. Third one, 3.07, and then the last one is going to be 3.68 okay 
add new point. Now, if you click on OK, those node points appear in the graphics. And lastly, we will divide uh, this beam at the bottom. We'll right click, click on insert node. Uh, we'll put in a node point at 1.23. And this is basically figure number um, 16 of your manual. 1.23, click on add new node point. Then we'll put in 2.45 and click on add new node point. Okay, now if you click on OK, those node points appear in the graphics. Now we'll draw additional uh, beam members, okay? So um, click on geometry, add beam, add beam from point to point, and we'll draw the remaining triangle members. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, remaining members. And once you've, you've drawn those members, we can select those members and sort of mirror it on the other side of um, of the bridge. Okay, about mirror it about the Y Z plane. So what we'll do is we'll select uh, these members as shown on page 48 of your manual. Okay, just the, don't don't pick the um, horizontal ones. Just pick the, the the new ones that we just drew. And what we need to do is just mirror it on the other side, right? So we've looked at the mirror command once. Again, we'll look at it, uh, and the command is located under under geometry menu, mirror. And uh, you specify the mirror plane. I say that's going to be the Y. Z plane, we need to specify a node point on the mirror plane, which would be, say, any of those node points, like node number 15, or you can pick uh, node number, say, uh, 11. Okay. And uh, if you click on OK, it basically copies those members that we drew on the other side of the of the bridge, right? Now the next thing is we need to, uh, you know, split this horizontal member into into smaller pieces. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll right-click on that member and click on Insert Node, and we'll insert a node point from the uh, start node at 1.5 feet. Okay, and if we click on Add New Node Point and click on OK, a new node point uh, gets gets created. Okay. Now, uh, with that, what we've done is we have drawn, uh, you know, one side of 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 the of the bridge. Okay. Now, before we do any additional uh, copies or pastes, okay, what we want to do is basically properly offset those members because this top cord that you see is is actually not one member. There's actually two members uh, at, at that same location. Okay. So in the next exercise, which is exercise number four, we'll look at how to apply member offsets and uh, basically draw, uh, you know, the, the you know two beams at the same uh, locations, uh, same location.